Hey guys, welcome to Let's Play Resident Evil 2 Claire B. Um, let's begin here. Just load up the save file. And let the, the little credits roll here. Or introduction. In the midst of the T virus outbreak in Raccoon City, Leon Kennedy succeeded in escaping from the city following his encounter with one of the only other survivors. A woman named Ada, a spy seeking the deadly G virus. However, Ada! Leon was not the sole survivor of the incident. A girl named Claire Redfield was in town on business of her own. She came to uncover the mysterious circumstances of her brother's disappearance. Chris Redfield, a member of the Star's Alpha Team. Only now, her mission has become quite simple. Basic survival within the nightmare that was once Raccoon City. Alright. Um, we can skip this... Actually, no. This is actually new here. Um, this is Claire's little um, introduction. But I'm, I'm going to skip it halfway through. <sighs> I'm finally here. Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? Uh, hello? Uh oh. <gasps> Look, I'm sorry I bothered you, okay? Just don't come any closer. Are you listening? Stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. Alright, so um, from here on, like, it's the same as Leon's there. intro, so I'm gonna skip it. At the same time, at the same place, you have to survive this nightmare to know the true end. Okay. So yeah, um, basically, when you play Claire's second scenario, um, you end up on the other side of that truck fire. And just like Leon's playthrough, I'm not going to kill the zombies here until I get to the police station. Alright. Um, you know what? Um, I, I think the little um, intro movie for like when you start up the game, like where it says Capcom, I think it's different for Claire. I don't remember, but it doesn't really matter. Um, if I can run past these guys here, yeah. Okay. Let's grab these keys, this keychain, or cabin key, whatever. Yeah, Claire has a different pistol than Leon. Oh shit, I don't know if I can get past this here. Damn it. Oh, good, I made it. Yeah, I waited a little too long there. Um, you can get past this guy here. Now we can unlock the door here. Don't need it anymore. Yeah, fun fact about um, Claire, voice actor. If any of you are familiar with uh, the Beetlejuice cartoon series, uh, she she voiced uh, Lydia, the Lydia Dietz, the gothic the goth girl who was friends with Beetlejuice in the cartoon. 
Yeah, I, I found that out recently. Oh, what was that? And wow, I don't know why I picked up that ammo there, but... Oh. I wasn't thinking. Uh, I might have just messed up the Brad Vickers thing, but... Oh, well, I don't, I don't know if that, um actually matters on the second playthrough. Um, but if it doesn't work then I'll know for sure. And wow, I got bit. I never usually get bit here. <laughs> ah, whatever. Shooting the helicopter pilot. And so that explains why the helicopter was uh, crashed into that wall in Leon's playthrough. Hmm. Okay. Sorry. Can't help you. Let's uh, get out of here. Now, we're in the police station. And I'm going to run all the way down to Brad Vickers right now and see if he's still see if he's there. Um, I hope he is. Oh shit! All right. Yeah, things are things are a lot different in Claire's uh, second scenario here. See, there's liquors in this room now instead of zombies. A lot of items are uh, placed in different places. Etc. Etc. And if you go out here on the balcony, um, all the zombies are on the other side over there. They're not all scattered around the balcony like Leon's play through. Yeah, they're all over there to the uh, Claire's right. Now let's open the ladder up here. Bring the ladder down. And I'm gonna cross my fingers. I hope that Brad Vickers is still um, in that little underpass, or whatever. I hope. Because I want to get this uh, one item from the locker, with the special key. There's this, there's this gun that you can get with Clara's outfit. Uh, I'm just going to get the gun if I can. The gun's really good. Alright, come on. Please say he's down there. Please. Please. Yes! I hear him. Oh, yeah! Okay, so I guess it doesn't matter if you pick up any items or anything um, in the second scenario. I've actually been wondering that for a long time. Is he dead? Yeah. Good. Alright. That was, uh, pretty close. Didn't think I'd actually make that work there, but, um, okay, let's go back in the police station. I got lucky. <laughs> Now, if you go to this uh, little desk here, um, you can pick up the grenade launcher. And if this is Leon's second scenario, there'd be a shotgun there. Okay, um, let's go back up the ladder here. And I want—I want to go back to the curl hallway right now. I'm gonna pick up this clip here. Oh, yeah, 30 rounds, yeah. 
Okay. Um. Uh oh. Oh, I'll be right back, guys. Sorry. All right, I'm back. Um, yeah, I had a phone call. Um. <laughs> okay, let's uh, continue here. I want to open up this door here, and I want to go to that one uh, office where that safe was in uh, Leon's playthrough. And yeah, gotta hear the groaning zombies again, which is really creepy. All right, I think I want to pick up one of these herbs here. All right, let's go. Okay, let's get these uh, these handgun bolts. And yeah, I picked up that one uh, handgun bullet rounds uh, from the the dead body in the crow hallway when I was off screen because I forgot to do it earlier. Now the only reason we came here was to get this crank here. We we, we want we want to put out the uh, helicopter fire. Okay. Now let's uh, go back to the uh, where the helicopter crashed and use a crank just like in Leon's playthrough. And I hope I, keep, I hope I can get through these crows without getting uh, pecked. That'd be nice. Come on, Claire. All right. <sighs> Okay, now we gotta go through the boring uh, crank animation like before. Now let's uh, examine the helicopter here. Oops. Let's see what we get. Ah, oh, acid rounds. You, you gotta save these to the very end of the game, because uh, acid rounds are really good for the end boss. The best uh, ammunition in the game. All right, let's go. Huh? What the helicopter? How is that? Um, I'm right behind that door. Uh, <laughs> let's go in. Uh oh. All right, I'm gonna use that herb. This herb here. Actually, no. Now my TV's too low right now. I can't hear it, but there are footsteps coming towards me. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, this is what I'm gonna do to get past this guy. Oh shit. Yep. When he does that uh thing where he puts his hands over his head, you run past him. I never fight him here. But if you actually do beat him here, he drops a uh, random am ammunition, like handgun bolts or something, which is nice. But um, he's a waste of ammo and a waste of time. So I'm gonna get past him. So yeah, that's the tyrant or whatever. He's gonna be chasing me the whole game. And uh, fortunately, the liquors are gone. So now I can get to the store here. Oh, what was that? Ah, eh, whatever. Okay. I think over here you can get, uh, no, you can't get any rounds or whatever. Okay, the reason we came in here was to get this, uh, key card. So we can open up the doors in the main hall. And watch out, there's a look here. Run, Claire. Yes, alright. We made it. 
Okay. Well, that about wraps up this up. That about wraps it up for this episode of Let's Play Resident Evil 2, Claire B. When we come back, we're going to do some exploring. But until then, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.